This is episode one of season two. It is. Yes, we're there. Dude, we went from July to the end of the year. So it was what? I think it had like 20... 22? 20, was it 22 episodes? 23 episodes, I think it is. 22? Could be 23. 23. Did, we did half a year, man. It's pretty impressive. Does it feel like it was just yesterday when we started doing it is, this? It does. And it, I don't feel like it was that... It really wasn't that hard. No. Could have been harder. It kind of... The year flew by, though. Yeah, it did. I think with us being busy for work, then we really had this occupied a lot of our time, too. Like, you know, not a bunch, but it... Right. It occupied our our evenings, for sure, to where uh, my downtime was either here or baseball after work, you know? Yeah, for sure. And so... uh, But, yeah. This was fun, man. So, we got some changes coming up. Yeah, we do. We got a lot. We're going to change up the... uh, Maybe we, try, we might change with the intro song. Yeah, I think that. We'll try that here. We might change up the cover art. Change the cover art. We got some plans for that. We got to yeah. we got to get on that. We do. Uh, so yeah, hope, hope by the, by the time this you're listening to this, we'll have new cover art. This will be season two, and uh, we thought of a fun way to kick off season two. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna have my daughter and my two older nieces, Lily and Blake and Mackenzie and uh, I can imagine this will be fun and I'm going to be the moderator yeah for all the shenanigans yeah four kids and Vaughn yeah yeah that's <laughs> that's my dream yeah so the funny thing is about I think you know Mackenzie she she might be a little more quiet than the other two uh, Blake's funny Lily's really funny you, I don't, you never know what they're going to say so yeah it I'm should, excited about that it should be entertaining we got to we really got to keep this one PG you think so? I think so. Okay. Well, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. The last thing we need to do is the, have... The bad thing is I've, I've helped raise these girls uh, I know. for I a hope, long time. I, I'm not saying you and I meet BPG. I, we want to make I, sure I, that they're exactly. PG because <laughs> they might think, oh, it's old Uncle Dale. It's Uncle Dale. But, hey, what I used to tell the, uh, the, the Quints when they come to my house, there's no rules in Uncle Dale's house. <laughs> and so Adam and Nick, Adam and Danielle are like, no, that does not work like that. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> As soon as they leave, you just no rules. You're just trying to do what's right. I say, welcome to Thunderdome. It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, who who would thought they put me in charge of kids? I I mean, honestly, if I had a bundle of kids, I would literally almost give them to anybody. <laughs> yeah, no like I'd, I'd I'd give them to you. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, probably. Uh, Nick and Daniel are like they're fine. They will they will be alive. They're gonna learn a lot of stuff that's not productive to the society. Yeah, but they're out of my hair. It's Dale's problem. Yeah, you know, they're those poor kids. They're only gonna get their dreams crushed for the next two hours, but they'll rebound. Yeah, it's not a big you gotta, deal. You gotta break them down to build them back up. That's yes. I always say rock bottom is the greatest foundation to build upon. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, our plan is what, what's the plan for YouTube? And you, like, I know you had some ideas. What you want to do for this season? So we've talked about. <sighs> there's been a lot of inconsistencies with YouTube, and I've said, and, and just so everybody knows, it has frustrated me of when they get published and how often and and when we do it. So I think what we're looking at for this year is to publish and run the podcast and YouTube simultaneously on the same day. Same day. Okay. Um, so that'll be a Friday release then, right? I, I would, I would, th- you know, we can always put it to a vote, but I would, I mean, I would say Friday. Friday is a good day. Most podcasts come out on Monday or Tuesdays. There's Monday and Tuesday. And Theo comes out on Thursday. So if I think we do a Friday, we want to be like, so if you have, if you're subscribed to us, mm-hmm. it'll throw it to the top of your list. Yeah. Uh, and it'll just be, hey, you might have some other favorites you list during the week. We get it. Yeah. But we'll turn into your Friday favorite. Yeah. Maybe it'll get us more downloads. But the cool thing is you can you can see it. Like for people that are going to watch it on YouTube, you don't have to wait because there have been people asking, hey, when's gonna when this yeah. episode going to be on YouTube? And it frustrates us. We get it. Like I said, we work on other people's time. There's things that happen. There's, there's you know, there's life that goes on with people and us with doing this show. Yeah. But uh, our plan is for this season to be better. Make it better. We got some new ideas for guests. Uh, we're just we're just trying to have good content put out there. There's a lot of background that people don't see. They're just going to see it when they see it on online. Yeah. So um, another thing is qualities of videos is going to be much much higher. Everything's going to be shot in 4K. 
multiple camera angles. Um, we also, what else are we doing? Uh, I was just thinking about the, uh, I'm trying to think what else we, we had just talked about this yesterday. What was it? What we're looking forward to? I guess I lost it. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you just, sometimes the genius turns off in my brain. It, it happens. So, so until then, Oh, I know what it is. We're going to, we're going to create and put other content on YouTube other than just yes. the podcast. That's yes. what it was. Yes. We have some ideas. And then uh, we're having some help from Magnus. Yeah. And he's going to help out. So Dale's getting a Brazilian wax. So we'll kick off to the music and then we will come back with uh, the three girls. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are back for season two of the Dale Not Dale podcast with Uncle Dale and Vaughn. And we have three lovely ladies here. Well, four, including Vaughn. <laughs> 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 we have uh, my daughter, Mackenzie Louise Mills. Hello. We have my niece, Lily Claire Mowbray. Hi. Recently 14. <laughs> and we have my other niece, Blake Louise Busby. I'm her. I'm her. I'm his favorite. I'm his favorite. Yeah. That is not true. <laughs> I'm definitely the favorite. Yeah, gotta, I'm the favorite. I'm the favorite. I'm y'all got to arm wrestle over it. We definitely will be do- arm wrestling over that. Blake, you're actually the favorite child of uh, your dad and mom. Yeah, duh. They answered it on the podcast. They did. <laughs> I may have coaxed it out of them a little bit, <laughs> but they did answer it that way. So... Uh, We've been kind of teeing this up for a little while, and we wanted to get them on, so this is our kickoff for uh, season two. This will be our first episode for 2023. Are y'all excited? Yes. We're even yeah, we're going to have this on YouTube, so <laughs> there might be some cute boys watching. Oh, well. Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> oh, can't, oh, can't, <laughs> those things are bad news. <laughs> Don't mess with those y'all things. Y'all can't dirt, date till you're 30. Yeah. Deal. You're not the boss of me when I'm 30. How old were you when you got married? 30. That's a, <laughs> that's a lie. That is not true. I was 30 as well. 30, you really that become means, an adult. That means that you had Kinsey before you were married. Huh? That means you had Kinsey before you were married. It's not funny, Blake. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Remember, I got to share the mic. So. Yeah. <laughs> so are y'all, uh, are y'all nervous, excited? What do y'all think? I'm excited. excited. I'm so excited. Very excited. <laughs> very excited. Very excited or very? Very. Very. Yeah. Very. Very excited. Vaughn looks more excited than anybody. Mm-hmm. It's, this is it's the first sad. time I've actually had to do a podcast with no headphones on, so it makes me feel kind of awkward. Like, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> or your ears. Or my ears. Vaughn, uh, <laughs> Vaughn's not, Vaughn doesn't really like kids, y'all. Well, so. y'all are, what's, what, who's the youngest of y'all? Like me and you're how old? Kaiser's eleven. You're eleven. So, so I I tend to like uh, I can put up with children um, <laughs> from the ages of ten and above. <laughs> but below that, oh. it's just not my thing. Yeah, before Kaiser was ten, he hated him. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> now he kind of likes him. <laughs> he actually we ha- we have a, a shed out in the backyard. That's where he used to live until he turned ten. <laughs> So for, she should. Yeah. So for his for his birthday, we we uh, we got him a bed inside the house. Oh, that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's always nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Great parenting. He's been he's been pretty appreciative of that. Luckily, Vaughn only had one kid. Yeah. Yes. So that's, that's really that's a really good thing. Yes. Uh. So, what you think, man? So yeah. So we wrapped up season one with a uh, little Botox. Can y'all tell we had Botox on our face? Is that normal for boys to get Botox? Y'all had Botox on his face. Uh, let me ask you this. What does How Botox do? How old do you think I am? You are... 68. That's, true. That's correct. I'm going with 39, 40. That's also 39. correct. That's great. That's a 41. great answer. Yes. That's a great answer. Really? None of y'all are right. Oh, 52. That's right. Yes. That's okay. what I thought. So y'all <laughs> obviously know how old I am. Um, 
But I, I can tell you that last week I was three years older oh. until the Botox. Oh. Yeah, we got Botox. Yeah. Botox. Wait, what does Botox do? Botox wipes away your wrinkles. Ask your dad. Oh, yeah. It wipes away your wrinkles. Your dad's forehead looks like a... What happened? Your, your dad looks forehead looks like a baby's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Not poopy, but uh, smooth. <laughs> yeah. a, cl- a clean butt. It looks like a clean butt. <laughs> looks like a clean butt. So. so so I hear y'all are going to interview us. Y'all have yes. questions for us? Yes, we're yes. interviewing Let me pull. And then we're going to interview Kids y'all. And do y'all, have, y'all can promise that you're not going to be on Instagram the whole time? Maybe. No, no I'm just kidding. Got to promise. We'll stay on our questions. It's going to make me we'll nervous. We'll stay on our questions. If I get nervous and I don't know what to do with my, my voice. So who's having, who's answer, who's who's going to ask the first question? Me. And who is this for? Uh, this Vaughn. is for Vaughn. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. How long were you a model for? Oh, good That's one. That's a great question. Um, I was a model from the age of 12 to 19. Dang. <laughs> oh, that's a long time. What's that funny, Blake? We got to see some pictures earlier of your modeling career. Oh, you saw his book? Yeah. Isn't that funny? No, we just saw pictures. Oh, they got a whole book. Really? Yeah. I want to see it. After I'm going to be laughing so hard. <laughs> it, depends, it depends on how good this goes. Maybe I'll show you the book. Uh-huh. Oh, and I don't do autographs anymore, so don't ask. And I know you're going to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What else you got? So, the next question is something we've definitely been interested in. Mm. Who is your favorite niece? And heads up, the right answer is Lily. Oh. <laughs> so there is a wrong answer. Oh. <laughs> it's Blake <laughs> or any of the Quints. <laughs> I'm his favorite niece. Obviously, like look at me, like. I'm like his favorite. Look yeah. at her. Yeah, just look at me. But I'm just better. Okay. So I'm just too awesome. I mean, do either of y'all have a nickname with me? Yes. What? Elsie. La- Lazel? No, I'm talking about. Oh, like a. Like yeah. A, you don't have a power couple name. Dilly. Lail or Dilly? <laughs> I like Dilly. 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 <laughs> See, you don't get to be Dilly. You're Billy. Oh. What oh, is, that's worse. That's so much. Worse. All right, I like Dilly. Okay, I'm gonna start that on the hashtag on Instagram. What's yours, Blake? Okay, well, Vale. My well, boyfriend. um, it'll it'll either be Dake or Bale. <laughs> I'm not doing Bale. <laughs> it'll be Dake. It'll be Dake. Delake, Delakey. That's not as good as mine. Dilly is pretty good. <clears throat> Dazel's is actually really good. Hazel's kind of been my favorite, but. Excuse your mouth? <laughs> yeah, I know. So he's trying to say me. He just doesn't want to hurt your feelings. I just didn't want to, yeah. I love, oh. I, love, I love all my nieces. Lily was, I can't say Lily's my first niece. I do have an older niece, uh, Alyssa. Oh. But Lily was my first niece from like our side. It's like I always tell my dad, you'll always love the first child more yeah. than you'll love everyone. <laughs> for real, for real. That's what I'm saying. And my sister's you like, no. first child. It for, was me. Out of the family? Well. No, like out of my f- out of my family. Now, yeah. Kenzie's family, she's the first child, you know? Yeah. Oh, I definitely love Kenzie more than Bronson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Doesn't tell him everyone? that. He doesn't have podcasts on his, his uh, iPad, so he can't listen to this. <laughs> uh, no, I, you know what? I love all you girls. But I'm your favorite. But. I'm your favorite. Who's got me the best Christmas present? <gasps> oh, me. I haven't even no, picked no, it no, out no, yet. No. But, but. <laughs> it's, me. it's me. I haven't picked it out yet, but I'm, <laughs> it's going to be the best. It's going to be the best. Vaughn, who should I pick? You know, I don't know. Who gives you the least amount of trouble? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, these two don't give me any trouble. Who? They don't call me doofus like the little mean quints do. Who t- I, I who came up with that. Huh? I, th- I came up with that. Well, thanks a lot, Blake. You're welcome. <laughs> I definitely don't talk the least, but I think I'm his no. favorite because we can make jokes. Lily is the loudest. Yes. And the ugliest. Uh, oh. <laughs> and you're the meanest. Oh. Of everybody in the family. Gross battle over wow. here. <laughs> Kenzie, why are you so quiet? She knows she's loved. Because <laughs> she's yeah. not a niece. She's a yeah. She's I a know. daughter. I know. You got two. You got two begging for love here, and one already knows it. So <laughs> <laughs> No, hey, you know, uh, one, I've been, I mean, shit, we've been close to y'all for, since you are born, but 
I mean, I'm definitely the funnest uncle. I know that because yeah. we like to have <laughs> dance parties. So one thing we always do, uh, Vaughn, you'll get a kick out of this. So when the girls are with me, uh, we'll, we'll get in my truck and we go have dance parties. Like we play Cardi B. Yes. Really <laughs> loud. Yes. And I, it's all explicit. And then yeah. like, I tell Blake, I said, we ain't listen to no kids bop crap in Uncle Dale's truck. I, I, remember, <laughs> we, I remember when we went to the grocery store and you and you stuck up your, your middle finger out at the camera <laughs> and, the, and the stuff check out. And the like, security is like monitor in progress. <laughs> Yeah, we were, we were checking so out funny. Target and the little camera's looking at you and I flipped it off Blake about Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It yeah, was I so funny. That. Hey, I'm a good influence for these kids. I know you're supposed to interview us, but I've got a question. Okay. Have you learned anything productive from your Uncle Dale? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no way. <laughs> okay, just hey, wanted to make sure. But we have fun. Yeah. yeah. We have fun. I keep it fun, right? Yeah. The only thing I've learned is that if I were to get arrested, he'd be the only person to come get me out. Uh, I, <laughs> that's I would, a, and I wouldn't tell your dad. That's a positive. No, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't tell the dad the first time. The first so, time you get a free run. Wait, Second tell, time, tell them what your dad says. If you uh, listen, Uncle Dale. If you listen, Uncle Dale, you go to jail. That's what they're. That's what they're. That's what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Nick started that at their young age. But I'll be the cool uncle for always. For sure. So. All right, go ahead, Mackenzie. What you got? Okay. How long have y'all known this, each other for? This for us? Yeah. We have... How long have we been dating or how long have we known each other? <laughs> <laughs> Both. We've known each other for three years. We've been dating for two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that first year was just, we just kind of for talking on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> we, were doing te- we, were, we were texting and you know doing the normal FaceTime. Uh, yeah. We So we met through, y'all know, well, you know, through... Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Lauren and Mr. Mike Howard you know Abby and Finn their parents were friends with Vaughn and so when they when we they moved to Marbella they were like hey uh, you should meet our friend Vaughn you'll act alike look alike blah 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 and that's kind of how it started and we met on a blind date yeah we did (laughs) and it was fireworks yes what Uh are you pointing at uh oh you know everybody can see you pointing yeah (laughs) it's gonna be for both of them Oh, okay. Yeah, I want, I want the juice. Okay. Oh, I want okay. the juice. Is that a, is that a saying? <laughs> you mean the tea, not the hey, juice. that's bussing, dog. Uh, is that a saying? No cap. I want the, what does I want the juice mean? <laughs> like something the juicy. Like, oh. like juicy in the okay. conversation. No? Okay. Okay. Oh. okay. What was both of y'all's first kiss? Or oh. who? Was it? Who? It was, was a oh. Like an actual, actual first like kiss. Like the first human? Yes. I don't. Yes, want, I don't. Want, I don't want to tell you my grade because you guys. Grade, grade, uh, please. <laughs> my first kiss was in fifth grade. <laughs> Imagine. Behind the bushes at Westwood Elementary School, <laughs> my friend came to me. This is what we talked. This is how it happened. So my friend Travis. Actually, the intro music to our show <laughs> is my buddy that lives in L.A. named Travis, and he uh, he plays music. He's an, he's an actor. But he came to me one time. We were in class, and he's like, "Hey, man, you want to go surfing after school?" I'm like, "I don't know what that means, you know." Like, I'm down. So what it was was we were meeting these girls behind the bushes. Uh oh. In fifth grade to kiss. <laughs> and that's what it was. Did fifth you know grade. these girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who were they? It was my girlfriend. <laughs> Her name was Amy. We'll tell you, mom. <laughs> no, yeah. So I was in fifth grade. I mean, it was a, uh, you know, it was innocent, but. You girls should definitely wait till you're thirty. Yeah, my first that's dis- never happening. Disclaimer: that My first, my happening. first kiss was my wife on our wedding day. Oh yeah, when see? we were thirty. Oh, clearly, clear. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I wasn't there, but I remember it. My first kiss was in was in fifth grade. Really? It was Sarah. What is happening with Who? these fifth grade Sarah? kisses? I know Sarah Johnson. Oh, Sarah, if you're out there, why don't you call friend. in? <laughs> how good, good was friend, still a good friend to this day? Okay, we're gonna ask her how well he, how well he kissed. But Vaughn's a sloppy kisser. Oh. Just by looking at him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have another question. Okay. What was your first job? My first job, I was 14 years old, and I worked for my dad, Uncle, his, her papa Tim. He worked construction, and since he was the boss, I could work for him, uh, being a young age, and... Uh, Man, it sucked. I was it's like, still illegal, but I was sweeping and like picking up trash and like because he built buildings. Yeah, and uh, 
But my first, like, I guess, I mean, I did that for like the summers. And then my first real job was at Cosmiana in Lake Charles, waiter. I love yeah. that restaurant. Best so good. Mexican food ever. Vaughn, first job? My first job. This is a good one. I was 15 years old and I uh, got too many tickets, speeding tickets. And my parents said they're not bailing me out anymore and that I have to pay for this ticket. The ticket was $114. So I got a job, believe it or not, for four days <laughs> to at, pay for it? at Dairy Queen. <laughs> Your wife was just talking about this, how you worked at Dairy Queen for a day and she couldn't remember if you got <laughs> fired or quit. I He worked it, long it, enough it, to make 114 it, bucks. It, <laughs> I, I worked long enough to make 114 bucks, whatever that was. But it was it was no more than four days. It was probably three, it's probably two, I don't know. How many dilly bars did you eat? <laughs> That's our nickname, Dilly. <laughs> so I I you know, that place was uh, I did as least amount as possible. <laughs> Um, I actually just, you know, flirted with girls that went through the drive-thru. That's that a boy. So they would ask for a blizzard and I'd give them my digis. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> blizzard, you mean my number? Yeah, there that's what I did. You know my model, by the way. You tell them that? <laughs> oh, they could see. You, you don't tell it. They see it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. So yeah, that was my first job. It was horrible. Can you Whatever, my advice to y'all is try not to work. Got it. Your dad's got your dad's got plenty of money, Lily. So don't worry, you don't have to worry about working. He'll ha- he'll take care of you. Okay. Got it. I'll make him give Mackenzie some money too. <laughs> okay. Next question. This could be for both of y'all, but what do you see? What do you see yourself doing in five years? Oh man. Five years, you'll be seventeen. Holy oh, crap! Oh my gosh. We'll be eighteen, an adult. That's yep. scary. Dude, she'll be an adult. You'll be an adult. We'll all be able to drive. So in five years, well, yeah. We'll just have been able to drive. That's scary. So yeah, five years, y'all will be, oh man. How old the Quince will be then? They'll be 12. The Quince Dang. will be y'all's age. Okay. Isn't that crazy uh, to think about? Yeah. We're going like, to have to get a bigger cow. We got to get bigger cows for all <laughs> them freaking knuckleheads. Uh, man, five years from now, I mean, I'm hoping that we're full-on podcasters and we're uh, we're taking over the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. our, that's our goal. Uh, yeah, that's that's no uh, man. I don't know. You know, I think that's probably my problem. I talked about this in my review of the owner of my company. I'm not a big forward thinker. Mm-hmm. Uh, We're just trying to get through the day, I, dude. I'm fighting for my life. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I get it. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, five years from now, I mean, hopefully by, by, by more Botox, I'll look younger. So yes. That's the plan. We're getting old, Lily. I'm about to be 40 next year. About to be old. Oh, so old, so old. I know. I feel old. I met Kiki when I was. We were 19, and we've been dating for over 20 years now. I've been together with Kiki longer than we were not with like not together. Isn't that crazy to think about? We've been together 20 years. Wow, that's it's a long time, Vaughn. For me, my five year uh, plan is to. Obviously, this podcast is going to the moon, Mm -hmm. so we know that's going to be a thing. But I also want to invest in a bunch of companies or company to have something called a passive income to where I can be a silent owner, get a paycheck from them, and then just podcast, and then travel the world in five years. What is y'all's five-year plan? Ooh, okay. How old will you be in five years? You'll be 16, right? I'll be 16. I'll probably be working at my mom's shop, and then another job... Well, actually, I think I'll probably be working at my mom's shop by, by then because I'll be able to drive. Um, and probably be babysitting my sisters. <laughs> I mean, by then, they probably won't even need babysitter. They'll be watching themselves, but my mom will still not trust them. <laughs> <laughs> I would trust them. <laughs> yeah. They, they already burned the house down. If- you imagine how bad they are now when there's five of them at 12 years old? It's going to be scary. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Lily, what you gonna be? What's your five year plan? You'll be eighteen then. Yeah, yep, eighteen. College. Oh, yeah, you'll be hopefully. In college. So where do you want to go to college? Let's ask you that. Okay, so what do you think you want to be? A surgeon? No, surgeon definitely not. I can't do the medical anything. I'll pass out. Really? Yes, it's so bad. I pass out when I get hurt, so <laughs> I don't think I can handle anybody else. Oh, hurt. probably like. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can't help you. Yeah. So what do you think? Stay there. Where do you want to go to college? Okay, so this is obviously a dream because it's never going to happen. Well, it can't be a dream if it's never going to (laughs) happen. 
You already set yourself up for failure. Yeah, not with that attitude. <laughs> okay, it's a goal. Okay, let's okay, go. Let's go with the goal. Okay. Goals are attainable. I want to go to A and M for like my first four years of college. Okay. And then I want to go to Harvard Law or Business School. To be a dentist? No. I was joking. <laughs> but I, it kind of doesn't make sense because I want to go to business school, but I want to be a realtor. So I don't know. Hmm. You, you know the great thing about y'all's age is it's going to change. Really? You can do whatever you want. You can be president one day. You, you can. You'll be the loudest I'll be, president I'll be the ever. First woman president. You'll be the loudest woman president ever. <laughs> I guarantee you. They may have. We'll probably have another woman. We'll, we'll probably Jeanette. have a woman president by then. Well, in five years now, probably not. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna yeah. say. It. I want to be a. Uh, I want to take care of babies in the NICU. When I like, that's what I want to study. Like taking ba- care of babies in the NICU. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I would. Cr- I could. Where do you want to? Where do you want to go to school? I'm sorry. I couldn't do that. I want to go to school at A and M or LSU. LSU, baby, go Tigers! Hey, you know what? Going to the NICU. You were really little, but I went to the NICU one time. That's when I held Hazel. That was the first time I held any of them. And uh, man, being in there, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. Like, dude, it was just sad seeing. Like, luckily the Quints were all healthy. But there were other kids in there that were really struggling. or I mean, they had, you know, the, the five quints. The, mm-hmm. They moved along and got through there. And then in the same time, I remember they had a set of twins in there, and one of them didn't make it. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine being a part of that. Like, let alone, so with the, I mean, it's sad for the parents, but just being a part of that, like, I, I couldn't do it. But at the same time, you can make an impact on yeah. the family and things like that. So that would be good. No, I mean, you'd have, you have experience because, one, yeah. you, <laughs> you've helped raise the quints, I mean, pretty much. But yeah. With the with your parents, so that'd be a, that's a it's a great job. Yeah, no doubt. Kinsey, so yeah, LSU, Kinsey. LSU and ADM. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Okay, five years. Uh, Where do you want to go? College? To co- what do you want to go to college? Where, you you talk, you've told me a few different places, but uh, mainly A and M or like LSU too. You said U of H too. Before. Oh yeah, U of H too. That's a maybe. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, Where do you want to go to school for? I want to be a surgeon. Kind of surgeon. Well, I don't know that yet. Okay. You just want to have a scalpel. <laughs> you just want to cut people. That's <laughs> just want to cut people. I, I mean, <laughs> I either want to be a surgeon or I want to be a hairstylist so I can make people bald and like do the wrong <laughs> hairstyle. You should oh, nice. That's that's yeah. that is a wide variety. That's of, a big of job titles. It's a big difference in yeah. pay, both of them. <laughs> or you, I just honestly, you could probably do both. I could just make my own salon and be like, like the name could be like. Cut hair off and then, like, <laughs> yeah. and then like, like, you come here, we make you bald. Yeah, yeah. yeah. guy or girl, Sur- yeah. surgically. Yeah, surgically. Sur- we'll, we'll surgically bald you. Yeah, yeah. by yeah. choice or by force. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, by force. That's our slogan: by choice or by force. <laughs> come, come, come on, don't come, on come here to, if you want hair. Yeah. Yeah, come, come, come on over to Kinsey Scalp Cuts. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Uncle Nick would be a terrible client. Yeah. <laughs> We'll put hair on his head. You, you, you really cut, screw him you up. Cut other people's hair off and then sew it on to Nick's head. Yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. dude. We'll sew on a mohawk. You want to talk yeah. about a hair oh, trim? Yes. A butt yeah. hair. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude, we can give him a bowl cut. <laughs> and then we, yeah, Uncle Butthead. <laughs> butthead. Uh, all right, good. So y'all all want to go A and I mean, you you all three could be at A and M at the same time, which would be pretty cool. Like. College Station is, is a sweet place. I mean, it's no LSU, but... Y'all should go to A&M, then have your parents buy one house, and y'all all three live in that it. That would make sense. Or like an apartment or something? Yep. Not an apartment. You gotta buy something. <laughs> buy a house. You gotta, you gotta buy, buy a house. house. A house for three people? I think we could live together. We gotta, well, do, I know we gotta do equity stake here. I don't know I don't if I can live with Blake. Yeah, I, I can't live with Lily. She's too... Uh. <laughs> You have way too, too many uh, opinions too, uh. for me, so. She's too, uh. I don't even know what that means, but I, it was a great compliment. <laughs> it was very funny. Thank you. Uh, okay, so. Okay, we have another Y'all want to go to A&M. Right? Y'all all, whatever y'all do, just work hard at it and be, okay. no, want to be right. successful. No, I'm letting Lily do this one. Oh, okay. Which one is it? Oh, so Okay. We need to know your true opinion, and there's no nothing I wouldn't, okay? You have to give us a real opinion. Okay. Because we know that they're going to want you to say nothing, but we know there's something. We're all about truth here. Yeah, this is, of course. This is, this is a trust tree. So, if you could change one thing about your wife, what would it be? Her, we must, know you her have mustache. Her mustache. <laughs> 
Same. <laughs> there are a lot more I'd change. Same. <laughs> oh, I would change, if I could change anything on Kiki, I'd probably change her attitude. That chick is crazy. <laughs> I was going to say her voice because she can't sing. <laughs> oh, dude. She, she needs to stop getting implants in her butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, dude. She can't stop. She keeps, <laughs> she, she keeps pumping it up. And she, and she, she says, when you work this hard and keep doing squats, you get a butt like this. And, and me and Lynn were like, what butt, Miss Kim K? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what'd you just say? Oh, yeah. So one time, Lily, Lily roasted uh kiki one time this was a couple years back i don't know if you remember we were in the car and crystal singing she, oh sounds so good y'all and uh lily said and kiki you can uh god dog it let me think i think i know what you're talking about i don't remember what i yeah, said dude you said something funny oh kiki you can sing she goes, oh really thanks she goes uh god dog it i'll think about it a little bit okay it's really funny because i mean you, i know because kiki's <laughs> like I don't remember. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> move on. Move on. Seems like a goat. It's bad. You. Okay, what are you going to change about Lindsay? Oh, that's easy. Uh, she... <laughs> she, <laughs> she no, that's she easy. expect you to say she, she's perfect. She worries about things that are so minuscule in life. Um, and... That is so me. That is so me. I can definitely me relate. absolutely insane. <laughs> like, if, if the house is flooding, she's not worried about that. But she is worried if I left the lid off of the dog food. <laughs> so I see that. that's what that that's I would change that. Oh, I know she said. You said Kiki, you got a voice. She goes, Oh, thank you, Lily. You said a bad one. I was like, <laughs> boom. You're like you're like eight. <laughs> you roasted her. <laughs> Cause she thought you were complimenting her. <laughs> Poor Kiki. Oh my gosh. Uh it's all true though. What's the next one? Oh, my turn. Yeah, I think I would change Kiki's mustache and probably her um, her butt injections. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing nobody's going to hear this. <laughs> okay. If you could be any animal, what animal would you be and why? Oh. That's a great question. That's a great one. I know. I came up with it. Aren't I so smart? I. Hmm. Go ahead, Vaughn. You go first. Oh, man. That's why you put me on the spot here. <laughs> if I were to be any animal, who would it be? What would it be? You look um, like a giraffe. <laughs> He does look like a deaf. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to be a. Oh, that's so hard. My favorite animal is a tiger shark. Ooh, mine is a meerkat and a pajama catfish shark. So if, if I was a an, any animal, I'll go away. Is, is maybe I would be a hippo. <laughs> that's what it looked like. Uh, I would be a killer whale. Because they attack great white sharks and eat their liver because liver is king. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. <laughs> so oh primal. <laughs> I'd want to be an elephant. Why? Because you look like one? No, because they stick their <laughs> trunk in their butt and pull their poop out. Oh, that's <laughs> I looks fun. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if they do that, do they? No, yeah. I don't know. That's gross. That. I don't want to be an elephant anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be an but elephant. Why oh, would change you want to be an elephant? You know one of those giant turtles? Those like me- those mega turtles with those yes. huge ones. They live for like three hundred years. I mean, they got a pretty good life. They just sit there and hang out, eat celery. Eat. Do you remember when we went to that place that one time and we were feeding these giant turtles on the quince for it yeah. dying because they and were you, like, so huge? You're feeding yeah. one and one coming behind that. you. Yeah, <laughs> you, like, and you like, surround you. It scares the crap out of me. <laughs> or maybe a cockroach can't kill a cockroach. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, you can. And they fly. I literally, I suffocated a cockroach once in in a concession stand thing with two of my friends. We we named we named it Cocky the Cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee, the <laughs> I wouldn't have had time to name it. I'd have been running. Yeah. And then and then we um we found this plastic thing because we were restocking everything because uh, our coach uh, told us to go restock stuff for the volleyball game and she left us so we were like we popped a bunch of cans but anyways um we found a cockroach and we screamed so loud because we because uh, it just startled us and then we got a plastic thing and we wrapped it and then taped it and then we kept taping it and taping it and taping it and then we and then we like put hand sanitizer uh, hand sanitizer all over it and then we kept doing it and then uh he was like in a little co- t- uh, tape con- 
what do you think? He's suffocated. He's a, he's in a little tape cocoon, and we put him in the fridge, and we left him in the fridge on accident. We were gonna we were gonna tell our friends to open it and say <laughs> talk really fast. <laughs> I, I can I, I wanted to give you a compliment on I don't think I've ever in my life heard somebody put so many words out <laughs> like in M&M. such little time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I when, when I have something in my head and I like when I know what I want to say, impressive. I talk so fast. And you do probably hey. need to okay, consider oh, no, no, being no, no, a no, rapper no. when you're hey, old. Hey, in high school, I am a rapper. I to Justin Bieber. <laughs> in in high school, I had a guy named friend named Rusty, and we were in the class, and they had an old, dried up, dead roach in the corner, and we paid him five bucks and he ate it. Oh, crusty, no. rusty! Ugh. That is crusty, gross. Rusty. Blake can like. We'll I do it for two. <laughs> 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 How much money would it take for me to give you right now to eat a cockroach? Ten bucks. I would if need I your whole you bank account right to eat a cockroach. I'd take your whole bank account. Oh, so nine dollars. <laughs> yeah. As yeah. much as you have. He, he, yeah, his check ain't cleared yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it would, it would take a lot for me. Like, a lot. No, I couldn't either. I couldn't 25 either. grand, I'd do it, I think. I'd do it for five grand right now. <laughs> 25 It's Christmas time, grand? girls. Okay, that's true. I'm definitely afraid of those things. <laughs> Ugh. And you want to be one? You'd be scared of yourself. Sometimes you, <laughs> sometimes you got to face your fear. Yes. <laughs> If you look in the mirror, you'd end up passing out. <laughs> if you're scared of them and then you want to be one, you'd look in the mirror and you'd just pass I out. I how many eyes I would have. How many cockroaches look in mirrors? <laughs> what if there's just one like taped to the ground and you walk on there's it and you no just look at it like that? look duh. in a mirror when you're living behind one. Oh. Ooh. I don't know what that meant, but I just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you never seen cockroaches behind mirrors? We got deep. No. 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 <laughs> what kind of cockroaches? You? I lived in a trailer growing up. They had cockroaches all over the place and they were my friends. <laughs> and my mom, if my mom heard this, she'd be very mad. I tell, I tell you, people that. Be your have you seen the boost? movie Marvin's Room? No, I heard the song Marvin's Room by Drake. Marvin's <laughs> Room is with Leonardo DiCaprio, and he oh yes, he gets some hair, and he says he ties up these cockroaches. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Next question. That is so disturbing. Okay. <laughs> it's a good movie. Talking to the mic. What is the weirdest dream you you have ever had? Oh God. Oh, I know. The <laughs> I've had a bunch of weird I dreams. I know the answer to mine. Go ahead, Vaughn. Um, I was 12 years old and uh, do you remember the basketball game? I don't know if, if it was in your time. It's called bank it basketball. Like you shoot like at an arcade, you shoot like the, the little, yeah, yeah, the basketball game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they had one called bank it basketball. And in my dream, there was no net at the bottom. And then there was these bloody hands. Ooh. And if I shot the ball and I missed, then I would fall into these bloody hands and they'd tear me alive. Well, at 12 years old, I had this dream and I remember waking up and having a full-blown panic attack, screaming at the top of my lungs and telling my dad what happened. What do you do? Go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds yeah, like a I'm, poor childhood. I'm not your, I'm not your dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, Vaughn. I'm playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are all bloody. <laughs> uh, man, I've had some weird dreams. I remember that baseball one or whatever mom was talking about. You have night terrors. Didn't you like order something online while you were asleep? Oh, yeah, like I, bu- I, I bought a $150 jump rope for CrossFit when I'm asleep. <laughs> Uh, I've, uh, I've done Corvette rims in my sleep. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have you don't have a Corvette. <laughs> no, I don't even have a Corvette. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the I, I have real vivid dreams. Usually, it has me like cussing Kiki out in the middle of the night, <laughs> and I don't remember any of it. But don't you do that anyways? I do not in the daytime, <laughs> and also at night when I sleep. So it's weird when you do it. At night. Yeah, so he, he didn't uh, get everything out. I know what say in the day. <laughs> I know one time I jumped out of bed and I grabbed the blankets behind Kiki. I thought I had a snake in my bed. So I'm like, my this this just another one just happened the other night. I I woke up. I had a feeling somebody was trying to kill me, so I like I yelled. I woke I woke I woke mom up like literally like two weeks ago. And I'm laying there, I'm like, Oh my god, oh my god, I'm having a heart attack. Like my heart's racing so fast. She's like, What's wrong? I'm like, I'm having a heart attack. I was like, I was breathing real heavy, I was sweating and my heart was racing as fast as I've ever been. And then I had calmed down to go back to bed. Like, mm. if somebody was trying to kill me. <laughs> In your sleep. I'm telling you, I get some weird dreams, bro. Like, it's bad. I'm not really, like, a person that gets weird dreams. I just do weird things in my sleep. Like what? Like, I remember when my dad went to the ranch with my brother, I would, like, sleep with my mom. And I would, like, turn and smack her in the face. Or, like... I would just do that and say I was sleeping. Like, <laughs> and I would, like, sing. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. And one time I was in my room and I walked 
all the way downstairs into the office and peed on the couch like it was the bathroom. I got it. Oh. And my mom came picking up. She's like, no, 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 no. Was it a leather <laughs> couch? Was it a leather couch? No, it was like a Canvas. soft. It was kind of like this. Yeah, hey, if you're going to pee on a couch, make sure it's not leather so you want it to be hard to clean for hey, sure. Hey, one time Mackenzie was little a few years, <laughs> few years ago. <laughs> I so know this, what you're so talking about. She was like, she was sleeping on the, like, she's, she's like me. She sleeps really hard. If you wake her up, like, she's out of it. She's sleeping on the couch and I wake her up. Hey, you need to go to bed. I think Crystal did. Wake her up. So she starts walking from our couch to our room. We know our, we got those big doors for the pantry in our in our kitchen. Oh yeah. yeah. She opens up the doors and they have a they have a chip bucket underneath there. And she pulled the chip but she pulls her panties down, sits down, starts peeing in there. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I remember yes. coming back from school and I was Very. like, Mom, why are you cleaning the chip? Yeah, why are all the chips thrown away? <laughs> well you pissed on them. <laughs> She's like, What? I don't remember you know, that. <laughs> No, dude, she was dead. That was like, me. She's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I remember, I remember having this really weird dream that, so there's like this, I was really little, and there was like this really cute, like little boy with like blonde hair, and it was really weird because there was like this one room, and then there was like a Polar Express train, but it was like a toy train that we could go in, and it was like just really weird. Yeah? Yeah, it was, yeah, I don't know, that's the only thing I remember. And then I, Did you have your golden ticket? <laughs> no. For the train? No. Oh. And then there's another one. Um, it, was just, it was with this black like monster. And it had like spikes on its back. And it like there was this mountain. And there was like, like a pathway. And you could go all the way up. And it was just chasing me this all sounds, the way this up. sounds like mountain. Jumanji. The movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Temple Run. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> that was Jumanji, I think. Uh. All right. What next, you got? What's the next one? We don't got no more. <laughs> That's it? That was our last question. Y'all are terrible interviews. Whatever stomach. happened to the juicy one? Why don't y'all ask us some questions? Okay. Yeah, we want to be interviewed. Yeah, I don't know how... I mean, you got to be careful what y'all ask for. Yep. Let's hear it. Uh, okay, let's think. Lily, Blake, what is your favorite... What's your funniest memory with the Quints? <laughs> oh, um, well, I don't really remember, like, any f- really funny memories. There's two things that I do remember, but one of them is that I wanted to do my sister's hair so bad when it started coming in. They were, like, one, one and a half years old, and I'd, like, get the little ponytails and I pick their hair up and I try to tie their ponytail and the the, the ponytail would like travel up their hair because I couldn't do it <laughs> and I thought it would look so good and my mom would be like what are you what are you doing and then I remember another one where Ava and someone it was probably Ava and Olivia were upstairs in the game room when everyone was downstairs and there was baby powder oh and yeah and they ate baby powder oh, and, I, and I went I upstairs and they just threw it all up all over them was, that was that day we were out, out at the house yeah and they like exploded all over them yeah that was yeah. funny that was the old house. Yeah. Uh, you got you a question? You yeah. don't eat baby powder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? I, I don't eat more. <laughs> the quince, they, they ruined it for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what my mom did with the dishes. <laughs> I, I used to love the dishes, and she was like, she made it my new chore, and now I hate it. I can't do dishes anymore. Uh, yeah, if you ever, if your parents ever want you to do something, just don't get taught how to do it. One time I offered to mow the yard for my parents, and then, and then I was stuck with it. Yeah, that's what happened with me in the dishes. So they started, they paid me $30 a week to mow the yard, and I found a guy to do it for 25 and I pocketed $5 off of it every week. But I didn't have to do it. So I felt good about that. Yeah. I felt good about that. <laughs> You got a question for him? Uh, yeah. Um, since nobody's going to hear this, uh, you, you all have to say who your crushes are on us in school. Oh. First, we're first not talking about that. No. First oh. in school, in our school. Or, or whoever it is, you got to say their first. We don't have to say their last okay, name. Okay, okay, okay. Tom Holland. Oh, nope. good one. It's got to be it's gotta be someone your age. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't think of anyone my age. I can only think of his age. Boys, boys are Tom yucky. Holland is how old? Like twenty six. You got to wait till he's, I got it. you got to wait till you're thirty to like him. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, pretty sure he's twenty six. All right. Next. No comment. Lily. Jeez. You're so joyful, Lily. Kenzie, that's Ooh. not even funny. We're looking for something juicy. 
Yeah. No yep. cap, girl. Yeah, we're talking about juice. <laughs> I know who Lily likes. Oh, oh I smell the beans. Oh. <laughs> about this on here. Lily, you cannot oh, date We made jokes 30. about it last night so much. What, what, who were y'all joking about? Joy, joy, joy. No, no, no. What was... No. What was... What, who's, Lily, what you're was too young to be dating. joking about? I'm not dating well, anyone. Good. You don't need to like anybody Lily's either. Really like, you're not funny. Only boys in your life is Father, Son, can and Holy you, Spirit. Can you tell us how many letters his name has? No. Six, I think. Oh, his name's Jeffrey. Hey, uh, no. <laughs> spelled weird. <laughs> uh, so, what's the funnest thing about middle school? You, I mean, you're in eighth. You're in seventh. You're six. So you don't have to walk in lines like in elementary. I think you have more freedom. More freedom. Yeah, the, definitely. Do you get more freedom as you from sixth to seventh grade? Yeah. Seventh grade was like my favorite year. The only thing that I think I like better being in eighth grade is we're like the oldest. And so we're like, I know everybody in the hallway kind of. You're the big man on campus. And last year it was like tall, huge people in the hallway and we really get like trampled. You should give uh, Blake a, a, a swirly in the bathroom since she's a, f- a freshman. I never see them. Like I see them randomly at school. I, I never see Kenzie. Do you act I like see you Blake. like them though? Are you like different halls? Yeah, we're all in different halls, but I normally see Blake when I'm going to eighth period because she's in art and I'm in athletics. They're right across from each other. And so, like, walk together sometimes, but. Um, also, I like that. So, when you're in middle school, Closer. you know. Yeah. <laughs> when you're in middle school, you know how, like, you. Uh, you Well, we only stay in our classes for the highest amount, 45 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. Well, when I was in elementary school, I only had two switch teachers, and um, I'd have to say that we'd have to stay in their classroom for four hours, and and then so you get to like switch more often. So when you get bored, you, you're like only five more minutes, only five more minutes, and yeah. then just you switch. <laughs> Lily, are you, are you excited for ninth grade? No, I can't believe you go to freaking high school. I know it's so scary. Are you gonna play football? Quarterback, you should, you should. varsity, duh. Oh, duh. freshman year, varsity Come quarterback. on, Uncle Rico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mackenzie? Yes? You never answered the crush question. Mackenzie, you've been so question. quiet. Why so quiet? What's your, what's your crush? Because her dad's here. You, you have to answer. Who do you like? Your dad's not here. The podcast dad's here. Oh. It's different. He doesn't care what you say. <laughs> oh, okay. I know who she likes. Oh, he said we, Uncle Dale said you we. Ah, ah. I'm joking. Uncle I'm Dale joking. said Uncle Dale said that uh, he could do four. Cu- we could say four cuss words. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So ready? For, all, for, for all for all those listening, uh, Dale came up with a great idea last week and told all the girls that if they came on the podcast, they could say four cuss words and we wouldn't tell their parents. And we were allowed to smoke. Which we're gonna do anyway. I was gonna keep the smoking cigarettes hey, out of it. But. Okay, <laughs> I'm not a deviant bad person. I'm just joking with these girls. Yeah, and it's three cuss words. No. Okay, so I'm not saying that. It's three no, cuss words and kidding. half a cigarette. <laughs> I had a t- yeah. <laughs> oh man, don't ever smoke cigarettes. Don't. It's bad. It's it's gross. gross. No, it, it is gross. It has rat poop in it. Dude, I smoke rat poop before I smoke cigarette. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I would smoke than rat anything. Poop cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, smoking is bad. What do you want to be your first car, Lily? I don't know. I want a white Jeep. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what he drives. A white Jeep Gladiator. It's a girl no, car. No, I don't really. Okay, I don't care if it's like a Jeep truck or a Jeep, but I just feel like a Jeep's a good first car. Okay, mm-hmm. It is, but a, good a first white, car. and I'd get like pink handles on it. Oh, for my. sure. Ooh. Well, I so the good news is I just bought a, a white Jeep Gladiator. It's a girl. It's a girl car. Girl car. Makes me think of Barbie. I don't know why. Dale Dude. makes fun of me about it all the time. But the good news is, is next week it's not going to be a girl car anymore. Oh. It's be a girl car, big wheels. Yes, it's going to be so massive. big girl. It's the big girl now. We're gonna, that's where we're going to name it, big girl. Big girl. But yeah, that's where I keep my book bag. <laughs> I want I want uh yeah, I want a Jeep. I don't care if it's like silver or white or black, just I would just want a Jeep that's a good color, solid good color. Kenzie told me she wants a white Jeep. Yeah, white white Jeeps are pretty but good. But she wants the lights underneath that she said. Oh yeah, like on yeah. the wheels. 
and then like oh yeah under it. yeah Dude, i don't no, think that's legal no cap <laughs> what is that what the cool that the kids say these days no cap Busted. does that mean i'm not lying not lying yeah yeah that's cap bro like they say facts or cap in facts, facts. facts. Like, yeah they're like yep that's true like it's like like you're stating the truth okay let's not talk about this you know every time every time kaiser (laughs) it's just like a thing people say i don't personally every time kaiser says something like bussin or facts or something like that we actually uh we pinch his tongue so he doesn't do it again yeah that's that's how you you train him you'll be back in the shed boy yeah (laughs) yeah you don't like the word bussin wait actually i think you actually do that uh, no okay okay i actually thought you were no y'all got real scared though yeah no I, i i think those Honestly, and this is my opinion, I think those words make people sound dumb. Bussin, what does that mean? <laughs> like it's so it's like, good. Like it's, it's so really good. good. Like good is like bussin, bussin. You need a word that's better than good. <laughs> okay, like, so why can't you say that's fantastic? Because that's stupid. It, it sounds like a six-year-old person when you so say is, fantastic. Is, is this? Is this? That's fantastic. Is this, are, are we at a stage in our lives where sounding eloquent and smart is not? cool anymore no no oh, okay. now it's like the more st- did we the did we sound, you sound cool when we were kids? the better I, I, you I are actually, or something. i never used like slang terms i did I, I mean i was like if i had a friend and i wanted to say something i'd be like what's up dog yeah. and then i was go, i'd go into my spiel yeah like you know? you'd be like <laughs> yeah this, was, what is that were you were you a, were you a uh, vacuum salesman <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i would sell my homework what you'd be like this mcdonald's chicken are bussin bussin yeah like that I've but never said to, uh, McDonald's chicken's never bussin' bussin'. No, it's not. <laughs> no. That's horrible. It's a horrible idea. I feel like you were the type of person in high school to wear like those necklaces with the shells. I did. Like oh, everybody oh, everybody yeah. did. I did. My I dad did. wore those. Everybody and my mom did. makes fun of it. His puka shells. Everybody uh, did, Nari, in, the, in that, that year. Was it like the trend? Yes. It was very much a trend. Were you a trend starter or a trend follower? I was more of a trend starter. I did. We talked about this last episode. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I did more, like even now. Like I like to just, I'll try newer things that I see or I think about before. Like I don't, I don't wait for something. Usually, I try to be out there. Like I started wearing, Unique. I started wearing like fitted like the skinny jeans years ago. Before, like I mean, fitted not like the skin oh. tight jeans, but like before guys were doing it in in my hometown, which you know. Louisiana. I yeah. <laughs> I was a trend killer. You hate if, trends? If there would no, if there was a trend going on and I would change it oh. the next day. So if you next were into Jinkos, the so next day just, we're into skinny jeans. You're just oh. too cool. Because oh, everybody trends. would follow along. Yep. A trend killer. You gotta you gotta assert your dominance, you know? Yeah. Top dog. I'm an influencer. What do y'all want to talk about? I don't know. Blake's we, we got one yawning already. Blake, are you tired? Um, probably because I look, well, I went to sleep super late last night and I fell asleep on the couch and then I had to go upstairs and go back to sleep. And then I slept in the game room with all of my sisters in Bronson and at seven o'clock in the morning, they turned on the TV, the giant TV in our game room and they, and they thought that they're like, Oh, Blake's sleeping. And they're like, it's fine. She won't wake up. I literally woke up the second they turned it on. And I could hear every word they were saying. You were you signed yourself up to for that if you're gonna stay up there with all those kids. Well That was your fault. I'd that rather was. I'd rather sleep in there than sleep in my room because I always sleep in my room. So yeah. But what's wrong with sleeping in your own room? She wants to change I'm the scenery. lonely, duh. I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The only friends I got is my Christmas tree. <laughs> See, we're different that way because if if I had the option to sleep in my room by myself or with Charlie, it would 100% be my room. I wouldn't want to sleep near Charlie. Yeah. He's a pain in the butt. That makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> How is it living with two boys like Charlie and Bronson? I want a sister so bad. Like, more than anything, I want a Your sister. Your mom didn't tell you they're pregnant. No, shut up. That's, that's <laughs> teasing me. I want a sister so bad. They're, and, then they're, I'm, and then it's a boy. <laughs> they're wrap, I would they're gonna so wrap hard. the present up and give it to you on. Yeah. Wrap the child up and give it to you on Christmas Day. <laughs> wrap the child. Suffocated. Well, no, you no. put holes in the bag. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a dog. Uh, yeah. It's like a dog. Yeah, of course. They both come in candles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, who is your favorite artist, music artist? I don't know. Okay, I like a lot of different types of music, I feel like. I don't know. I don't have 
like my favorite country singer is probably Parker McCollum mm. or Morgan Wallen. Oh, Morgan Wallen. I love Parker McCollum. I got Morgan Wallen tickets. Boom. Really? I wanted to go so bad. I got no Parker cap. McCollum tickets. No cap. Boom. Yeah. Facts. In your face. I'll probably go see Parker McCollum too. The first night of the radio. I don't have favorite rapper. I just listen to everything. My favorite rapper? Travis Scott? Drake? I do like Drake and Eminem. Mm. Oh, even name's a legend. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I've actually never heard a Snoop Dogg song, actually. you never heard a Snoop Dogg song? Well, I probably have. Oh, I guarantee don't know. you have. You have. Um, well, I used to be obsessed with Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Oh, me too. Like, oh, I for, still love him. like, for, like, two Justin years. <laughs> and He's busting, busting. I like Olivia Rodrigo's songs. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. Um, she's so... She's I like so For King and Country. Depressing. Like, do you hear her songs? I, I like for yeah. King and Country, and I like. I there's this one guy that my dad listens to. He raps, but he's like, uh, like, a worship. Holy rapper? Yeah, like a holy rapper. The Cray. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's what your mom. Your mom likes him a lot too. La Cray. <laughs> he's a holy rapper. Yeah. Oh, like MGK. No, not like him. Oh, okay. <laughs> my favorite, <clears throat> like. Artist for like band when I was back younger, yeah, whatever, was One, One Direction. Direction. Oh my gosh, I love One Dude, Direction. I, remember, I still jam One Direction. No, me too. I remember I had like a blanket and like a. Me yep. too. Remember, remember your did? Uncle Tanner looked like. Oh, yeah. So my little brother, when he was little, he looked like Harry Styles. And then also, I, I thought that my dad's uh, stepfather, right? Uncle Randy? Yep. Uh, Randall. I thought he looked like, uh, what's his name? Liam. Liam, you think so? Yeah. Liam Neeson? Yeah. Liam Neeson. I Take still him. listen to Harry Styles. <laughs> I like, I like Styles. I love his music. I do too. I'm a fan of him. His style, you like Harry Styles? Blake? Styles a little unique. The watermelon He's, sugar. Uh, you don't like that song? <laughs> it's catchy. Watermelon sugar. <laughs> it's the most obnoxious song I've ever listened to. Wow. Like, it's, you're it, it's, it's too catchy. It's too catchy. And you don't I, like and, catchy songs? And, and it's on the radio all the time, and I, I just can't listen to What's it. What's wrong with being on the radio? That's cool, Blake. <laughs> That's you can't sing as good as him, so I don't want to hear it. Oh, burn! I'm not a professional singer like him. So. Oh, double burn! <laughs> Doesn't burn, matter. Burn, You're still so bad. Burn, 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 burn. Okay, tell me your favorite yeah. joke, Lily. Okay, my oh, favorite joke, one. Kinsey. We're not talking about that joke. <laughs> Kinsey, Kinsey no, it's so a, bad. Kinsey the joke is so yes. single. Word. No, no, no. Can Kinsey, say. Can I say it? Knock, knock. It includes a knockoff cuss word. It's not an actual cuss word, but it makes you think oh, it's a cuss word. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Knock, okay. knock, knock. Who's there? Mama Fox. <laughs> Mama Fox who? Everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mackenzie Louise. Dang. She told us this yesterday. And <laughs> Bronson told that her that That is not a good joke, joke for you to tell people. Bronson told you that? Yeah. <laughs> whoop his butt. <laughs> All right, my, Lily. Okay. My favorite joke? I don't know. Okay. okay. I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> I, I'll use that tomorrow. I love jokes. I have a lot of good jokes. They just naturally come to me. I'm just naturally funny. You are funny. I'll give you that. I'll tell people, Lily is funny. So is Blake. Blake's got the best laugh of the family. I'll give you that, Blake. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think I have two jokes that have been my favorite. Okay. Okay. One of them's weird, but I like can't help but laugh to it because okay. it's just so good. Give it to me. So it's how many tickles does it take to tickle an oh octopus? <laughs> like she can't say, I don't know. <laughs> Ten tickles. <laughs> Ten tickles. <laughs> Ten tickles. <laughs> like that. That's a good joke. So good. Right, that one down. So Ten good. tickles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got another one. Your eyes are watering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Britney Spears. Britney Spears who? Oops, knock, knock. I did it again. <laughs> oh, you gave it away. <laughs> you gave it away. I'm still going to say anyways. So knock, knock. Who's there? Oops, I did it again. <laughs> you get it? You with my heart. Kenzie, I got a knock, knock joke for you. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? You and. You and who? You in trouble for saying the last <laughs> knock, knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, okay, what was I have. I might cut that I out. Have. Your what mom's going to be mad at me. Part? Wait, what was the last part? Me, you, and what? Uh, you in oh, trouble you in. for t- saying the last knock knock joke? Oh. Blake, tell me a joke. I can't just like come up with one on the spot. I have no, to no, like naturally you, come to. No, me. like so you don't have any jokes that you that you really like. You don't have a go to joke. You gotta have a go to joke. No, because then it gets bad once you keep saying it. 
Oh, that's my yeah. octopus joke will never get bad. Tentacles is funny. This is what my sister's jokes sound like. This is what they make completely no sense. They go knock knock. Who's there? A beehive. <laughs> Beehive who? Beehive is, beehive is going up in the water. <laughs> that's what that joke sounds like. I think that's great. They're so lame. That that's one of, that's one of my favorite Wait, Okay, hey, okay. Who is your favorite sister? Or, I should say favorite. Who, you, who are you, you feel like you're closest to? Riley. I think I, well, every time, uh, like, when she gets Robux, she always, get, uh, she always gets Robux. Um, so I always help her with that, and then like we always hang out together way more than I hang out with my other sisters because they're always she, watching TV. She's more independent. I think she's a little more she's a little more uh, she's matured. More, yeah, she's so that's probably why. Yeah, and then when she hangs out with Bronson, she sounds she acts and sounds like an idiot, like a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> like Bronson, dude. Whenever whenever Riley was little, her and Bronson were like besties. But Bronson would be outside with take, take a shirt off, run around. Riley's got a shirt off, run around. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little boy. <laughs> Those were the days. She just, yeah, she just was, you know, she wanted to be one of the boys. Like she loved hanging out with Bronson. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see Riley being, but yeah, she is the most mature, I think, out of the out of the five. But you, Lily, who's your favorite? Who do you connect with the I most? I don't have a favorite. Not favorite. I don't even say that. But I think I'm closest with Olivia. Favorite. We're Olivia. both Lulu. How Lulu's, can you not? She's funny. Favorite. Kenzie, shush. But you, not my favorite. You do look just like Riley when, when you're That's yes. true. Riley, looks, Riley look just alike. Riley looks weird. a lot like Lily. Lily, hey, when Lily was born. Uh, it snowed. It's a magical, but you magical were, day. You were, you were young. I mean, you were the first, like, besides my other niece and nephew, you were, like, the first kid I was around all the time. And, like, dude, from, like, a year old, Lily was, like, talking like full sentences almost like she was one of the smartest little kids i've been around like really you were Best like year of your life you was only child around exactly and it got dumpster fired these came around <laughs> uh no but lily always i've always told people like lily one you're funny but two she was like the smartest kid like you're smart that's all well, thanks. now you're a little dumb but it's okay. uh, at least you're pretty you getting all no, a's joking, joking. <laughs> wasn't kiki and my mom pregnant at the same time yeah, because well, Kenzie, Kenzie no. was pregnant like no. I thought she was pregnant like right before she had Kenzie. Dee Dee like found out that she was pregnant with Blake. Or am I just crazy? No, because they're a year apart. No. Oh yeah, because it takes nine months. Yeah, y'all are over. Yeah, you're over. You're a year apart. apart. Yeah, because she's August. You're April. So you're the you're a. We're a year and a half, right? Wait, no, y'all aren't a year apart. Mm-hmm. Y'all are. Oh. She, your mom may have been pregnant with, with you whenever she had um, Mackenzie. That's eight months. Eight, yeah. or eighth month. We're eight. yeah, so your mom was We're, pregnant for a month. Yeah. Whenever. Yeah. Okay. Eight or nine months, if you count. Yep. Is. Yep. So, Mackenzie, what's your answer? For what? Oh, for favorite? Or for... For your close. Who are you closest with, do you think? Um, Ava or Parker? Why's that? Elaborate. Um... Well, Parker, I believe I was the first one I, like, loved when I was little. Like, hold her. Mm-hmm. Like, I always hold her. And then Ava, she's just funny and unique in her own way. She's, like, her go-to. Every time yeah. we see them, Ava, like, goes up to her first. What's well, like me. First one. Hazel. Hazel's all over me. Like Oh, well, guess what? Yesterday, I said, who's your favorite? Uncle Dale or Kenzie? She said, you. She only said that because you were because there. Because you were she there. Was with yeah. Uncle Dale. If well, I was there. pressured. If she was, if I was there, she'd have been... No, stiff armed you. No, she would say like, no, Uncle Dale. Yep, she said Uncle Dale. Should have been like Uncle Dale. <laughs> she knows. So the funny thing about Hazel, like, whenever we go over there, one, she's with me, but then like after everything's kind of everything dusts, so everybody says hi. She's still there, you know, because she's but she's always off in her own little world anyway. So <laughs> like Collins, <laughs> she would Collins not so cute, get off of me because it was <laughs> so cute. I tried to tell all the all the kids at the event the other night mm-hmm. that Christmas is canceled this year. Oh. What'd they say? Yeah. I, I just didn't get an opportunity to tell everybody. <laughs> did y'all, uh, did y'all hear about the new city ordinance? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What no. is that? You have to, this year there's no presents that are going to be under any trees. Yeah. I'm more there, of a giving person. If a, there is, gift. you're it's arrested. A, it's a tax. They're what gonna, is, they're going to tax. What you. is your big gift you're asking for this year? Like, an Apple Watch or an Apple laptop. But, I mean, I've been asking for a Apple Watch for so long. You still never got one? No, I asked for it. Uh, I asked for my mom's old one when she got a new one last year. 
She didn't for give her to you? birthday, and she didn't give it to me. And I was like, and I'm, I've been I'm asking her, begging her to set up. And hey. I was like, you'd rather get a new one than this Christmas than get yeah. her set up and change for you. Well, Sam, I'll get you one, tell me. Uncle Dale, I'll take care of you. <laughs> Mine's a golf cart, Uncle for Dale sure. Asked Vaughn to go buy it. You oh, want a golf cart? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I want a golf cart so bad. Go. What about the side? Oh, he won't let you drive the side by side. You're too young for that. It's too. I don't like how big. rough it is. It is. It's, I know. But I did you tell your dad you want a golf cart? Yeah, I'll get my permit next December. Oh my god, it's crazy. You know, I no. think it's actually a good idea to have a golf cart to learn how to drive because mm-hmm. it's the same concept. Yeah, I drive just, my I mean, grandma's all the time. Out. You're just like out. yeah. You're not. You mean BB? I think that's a good idea. It sounds weird to call BB mama, grandma. I know. Yeah. She doesn't let me. She's like, don't call me that. I'm not that old yet. No, BB's funny. <laughs> She's so funny. I'm getting hot with this. <laughs> those headphones. Pull your hair back and then put put like, it on your put ears. It, you have, like, you have, no, like, you have them over your e- your hair. And then like, put your headphones on. My ears on. are probably like bright wet. They are red. They are. Huh. I know what Mackenzie's asking for. What do you, what coal. Do you so she's getting, she's been bad. I'm what present do you want the you most? You always get coal. Um, if you had to get one present this year, only one, mm-hmm. what present would that be? A TV in my room. That's, oh, that's, really, out of, that's out of the question. That's really a small ask. <laughs> she's been wanting one for a while. Hey, if you don't get a TV. Now, now she's old enough to where it makes sense. If you don't get a TV this year. I don't see her anyway nowadays. So let, I mean, let me know. I'll hook you up. Oh, good. I'm going to return to what I got then. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm at Bombay>. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good nah, idea. <laughs> no, nah, it's a horrible idea. <laughs> how big should he get you? I mean, how big you want? Oh, I got, 72. I, 72 inch. I got one somewhere sitting here, don't I? Oh, sitting over there. There, there you go. There you go. That's, that's too, how big. That's, that's as big that's, as I'm willing to give. Right. That's there. Too small. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what is? Have y'all ever gotten a present? And we won't tell your parents, or Santa Claus, or anybody. Have y'all ever gotten? A, uh, have y'all gotten a present that you just absolutely? hated but yes. you didn't want to tell your parents yes well my sisters get stuff that they want and give it to me like i even asked hazel this year she went to this a christmas store and i said uh and hazel goes like i got you something for christmas and i said hazel is it something you want or uh or is it something i want and she goes oh it's something for me i just put your name on it so i can have it <laughs> and i was like hazel you don't do that if you're gonna if you're gonna buy it get it for yourself and then get me something i actually want because i'm not gonna keep well i'm gonna keep it and rub it in your face because you're not getting it but like like don't do that that's so rude <laughs> rude girls what what did you kenzie what 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 grip do you hate oh it was from santa claus and it was the champion hoodie Really? When did you get a champion hoodie? Uh, last year. It was like like light. It was like kind of white and faded into purple. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, I got this shirt. Santa sucks. Go yeah, ahead. It's like this talk to Santa. flannel. I don't even know where it was from. It was just like a flannel, and I hated it. Stole my closet with the tags on it. Oh. And I didn't your tell dad, anybody. I was like, your dad oh, could probably fit it's it. so cute. And I was like, oh, I have something in my closet with a tag on it and my mom got it for me not for christmas but she just got it for me and it looks like an indian dress like i wore it to an indian wedding and I, and I hated it and every every single time i tried to clear out my closet my and i i was trying to sneak it into the pile and she's like no you're gonna need that one i'm like when am i gonna need this i'm gonna you're gonna wear that for my next birthday my 40th birthday is gonna be indian themed <laughs> oh got yeah. it oh my gosh it's like uh, so ugly <laughs> and i hate it so bad i have never in my life gotten a present from either Santa Claus mm. or my parents mm. that I did not like because I was so adamant about putting a list together and saying I want nothing off this list. <laughs> <laughs> well that's how they did this year. Lily made, uh, they all did but they, Lily had a full on PowerPoint. I know for my that's birthday. That's pretty smart. Yeah, she you need gave to put me the, this. Yeah. But she kept a list like all year. Didn't yeah. you? I like cuz I can never forget or never remember like when it comes around my birthday, what I want, and so anytime I think of something like throughout the year, I just put it on the list. Yeah. And then when it's like December, I made this PowerPoint, and Kiki got me this duffel bag off of it, and she was like, yep. "It was from Slide Three. <laughs> it's from Slide Three. <laughs> and then she was like, "And your Christmas gift's from Slide Four. I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> we used to, uh, my son, any Christmas present he got, he had to give away three old ones. Three old ones. Mm-hmm. So if he got, you know, let's say we, he, let's say he got a video game, he mm-hmm. would have to give away 
three toys or three pairs, whatever it was. He had to give away three items to charity or to Goodwill or whatever it is for every one item he got under the tree. That's nice. And it's nice not just to help people, but it was nice because that's, it was less stuff that we had to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all think me and Bond look alike? Yes. When you are younger. Kind of. Not mostly the hair. I think it's just the face. If you shaved your beard. Look a lot like or And the hair, too. Now that or maybe he should grow a beard. Well, i got to shave my face. Yeah, well, it's true. He, he has a black a, mustache. We're going to have a problem there. No, but your wife showed a picture where like you're like very young and you're like sitting on the couch like this. Mm-hmm. And then, like your like hair was like blonde tips. Yeah, and it looked like you. I gotta find my senior year uh, yearbook because his senior picture and mine look a lot alike. It's crazy because he sent me a picture. I've seen a picture of his. It's weird, man. You are like long lost twins. No, nope, we're not lost anymore. Well, we're not lost. You're yeah. found. found. Now we're long close close found friends. Uh, Speaking twins. of which, maybe we can bring Kiki in here to sing Amazing Grace. Oh no, <laughs> no. Do that you want to hear that? A burning dumpster fire. <laughs> that would be absolutely horrible. Well, now we got the outro. A burning dumpster fire. Okay, let me see this. Let's let's get Kiki in here real quick. Oh god. So what's new? When y'all what? When's uh? What do y'all got planned for Christmas? This is like the first Christmas I all think doing on our, Christmas Day that will all be just us we're like doing, together. Yeah. yeah, we're doing our Christmas Christmas. We we we've, for years we've been doing our Christmas with us sixteen. It's crazy to think of that on uh, Christmas Eve. This is the first year we're going to do it on Christmas Day. Do you have any more questions for us? No. Have you had fun? Yes. Yes. It, it has. Can you say that this is your favorite podcast that you've ever been on? Yes. yes. Have you listened to a podcast of ours yet? Yes. I listened to the one our moms were on. Okay. And then you shouldn't listen to them. They had some bad words in there. I didn't watch the whole thing. Okay, good. I remember that we, I, me, and I think Lily, um, someone was in the car with me and my mom. And we were yes. watching one where Kiki says, I don't fart. I bur- I, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it comes out the front. Yeah. yeah. It comes out the front. That's even grosser to say that. Yeah. That yeah. That's your yeah. aunt, y'all. I know. And just remember. Um, Y'all're going to be just like her one day. Y'all get more points, <laughs> likability points from Dale, the more shirts you sell of ours. Yes. Just keep that in I mind. I need to get your shirt size, too. I'm going to get y'all one of our t-shirts. Yeah, give me one. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. Will y'all wear it? Yes. We rock it. Yes. No cap. I'll go to school. No cap. Like, this bu- is the best podcast on the planet. This podcast is bussin' bussin'. Oh, You'll yeah. be like, this is bussin' bussin'. So it tastes sure. good. It's your, your it's podcast. Bussin' bussin' gotta be good taste. No. no, it doesn't have to be like it tastes yeah, good. It's just, it's just good. No cap. I'm not lying. Bussin' bussin'. It's good. Good. It's good for real. No. Uh, what else is it? What are the other ones? Facts like. Facts. Yeah, okay, I'm I understand like, that one. That one's kind of a thing. And then there's like Riz. People are saying that now. Oh, what's that one? It's I like heard this. that one. You got game. Let me see. Riz. Give me your arm, Lily. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's like like, like wait, I, I, I made up one girls, I guess. Huh? I made up one. Ready? So it's like the same thing, but it goes. What <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, boy. Blake will slap you too. Trust me. I don't really Blake's know. I crazy. think it's like there's just one where like girls or you have a you like pin them to the wall. You'd be like, oh wait, let me see your arms, and like you push your arms back. It's weird. She did it to me earlier. It's weird. <laughs> oh lord, he'll shoot me out there. Why do y'all do that? <laughs> I don't even know. Why are y'all the way you are? Yeah, we're just perfect. Yeah. All right, come well, here, Kiki. Can we? Hear Blake requested that you uh you sing, sing? the outro. Amazing Grace. Amazing, Amazing Grace. Grace. All right. This is this is this it's is okay. no it's one okay. cares. This we'll is Photoshop the, this you is, like we normally do. <laughs> this is the outro I to. Know. I need the lyrics. Hey girls. I got it. I got it. You should know, girls. Do y'all want to do this again sometime? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what we need to think about, we need to like. So you guys are the first episode of season two. It's a big deal. Thanks for having me again. Oh Lord. And so we need to think about. <laughs> We need it. We we, need, we start thinking about some ideas for the next one. Don't actually play this song. Just sing like that. All right. So, Vaughn, do you have anything else? I appreciate y'all coming in. This was fun. It's, it's been of it's been a lot of fun. Y'all are funny. Y'all are funny. And I mean, you're, I'm a and little. You're, and, you're, and you're pretty. I'll I'm, give you that. I'm funnier, but yeah. y'all, were, y'all were close. Yep, Who's so, funnier? But I'll teach. I'll teach Me. y'all. Lily's funny. 
I'll, All right, I'll so teach y'all. Kiki's gonna sing the outro for Do this. Do I have episode. to look at y'all while I sing it? No, just sing you it. You have to make eye contact with Dale. You're giving us a performance. Oh, okay. Actually, give performance to the, to the YouTube channel. <laughs> look at the no. Look at the camera. Three, <laughs> two, one, action. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved. That was so funny. <laughs> that was busting, busting. See, that voice is better than her regular voice. Huh? <laughs> no, you can't hear it now. That was beautiful. Thank you, Kiki. <laughs> yeah, that Thank was, you. That was Thank good. You. Thank Kiki you. really knocked it out of the park, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> she did not what know. What voice filter did you use? I couldn't hear it. The, the oh, loud. I used the, the, the robot, like the, the, the bro. Really? And then, and and then, then the chipmunk. <laughs> you heard her real voice? I didn't hear. It. I heard that. That was worse. Oh, no, th- no. Trust me. What I heard was funnier. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, well, thank you all for coming to visit us. That's gonna be hilarious. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Hey, so it's gonna be so funny. This will be the first episode of January 2023. So I'll let y'all know when this comes out. I'll send it to y'all. Make sure you tell your friends. Kick him. Hey, we need some more subscribers. Tell your friends. Yeah. Subscribe to Uncle Tate. They all know they all, they love Uncle Dale. <laughs> Yeah, they love Duh. balls. They know him, so they need to they need to uh, follow us. Yeah. Oh, I got I do got one question before we leave. How did we do hosting the fashion show? Very good, amazing, busted, busting. We didn't even practice. Yeah. I, guess the, I guess the bad thing y'all couldn't really hear us because y'all were in the back. Yeah, but how did we look? We had matching blazers on. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah y'all look so good, right? We look sharp. Everybody was wanting to know where our boutique was. Oh, oh yeah. And we're like, oh, no, we don't want to tell you. We don't want to, we don't want to take away from Grace and B. <laughs> yep. So we need to think about anybody y'all could think of. We need to get on the show. Y'all need to let us know. We'll, guess what? we'll try to get Parker them on. Parker McCollum. I'll try. Podcast you really try? Huh? Okay, first of all, if you put him on this podcast, I better be here too because... Yeah, girl. No, well, no, you should do... Wait, Kenzie, who was yours? Who was your person that you said was like one of your favorite singing... Person artist. <laughs> One Direction. No, Snoop Dogg. One Direction. Oh, you better get Harry Styles on this Dude. podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Harry Styles, Parker McClellan, Ni- and Tom Holland. Niall Horn. <laughs> yes. Whatever his name is. Niall okay, now let's be realistic. Movie. Yeah. Okay. How about your dad? We'll get your dad. Yeah. yeah. Us get. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe your next door neighbor. If hey, you, your, your dad's the only one that had been on here yet. Yeah, you definitely have to get him on here. And we're gonna talk. I'm gonna say, hey, we got an idea. We're gonna glue hair to your head. I, okay. At Kenzie's new hair salon. If, if we <laughs> get your dad on. What question, any question you want to know, what question do you want us to ask? Would you ever want, is Lily truly your favorite child? Uh, I'm, I'm, that's true. No. Or, okay. No. I know that's true. No. I can answer that Would for you. Would you like truly want to have hair back like on your head? Like would you like, I don't think he does. Want he, to would, have, he would want to have hair. I don't think he does because he keeps shaving yeah. it. <laughs> I agree. He'd want it. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I think everybody that's bald would want hair, I yeah. think. Again. All right. Well, this is the end of the episode. Thank y'all so much, girls. Y'all were a lot of fun. Hope y'all had some fun. And uh, it's time to go eat. I'm I'm starving. Bussin' bussin'. (coughs) Bussin', see ya. Yep. Peace. Peace.